what's up everybody this is Jeremy um, today I'm going to be showing you an application called Skitch um, right now it's free I'm not sure if it's going to always be free but um, it's a cool little application that you can use uh, to take screenshots uh, you can you can use it kind of like MS Paint um, it's got a lot of different little features to it um, you can go in here and you can bring in photos and do it this way if you want um, you can go up here in the menu bar and you can set to uh, like crosshairs where you can select what part of the screen you want to do a screenshot of a full screen screenshot or you can do it from a cam shot which I'll go ahead and do this real quick um, let's drag that up here and I'll show you some of the stuff this does okay you got your different tools over here to the left um, so I'll go ahead and show you a couple of these real quick. You can draw just you know right here like MS Paint. Go over here, do undo. Um, you can draw straight lines. Um, draw circles. There's squares as well right here. Um, I'll go ahead and do a square and show you something. You can go in here and fill this if you want. Um, go back here and just draw. And you got an eraser tool. Oops, that wasn't it. I clicked the wrong thing. My bad. Um, you've got an eraser tool. Um, which I'll show you some other stuff in just a second. Um, you can take this from like the bottom of the image. Because you can see in my image, I screenshot, uh, I drug it over a little bit further than I needed to. So you can go from the corners of the image and you can actually crop it just like that. And once you're done cropping it, you can actually go from the outside of the application and you can resize that. So just say I want to uh, use this little tool here and I want to show one of my friends what Sketch looks like in the menu bar. I'll go ahead and type that. Um, okay, now they know. Uh, what it looks like. Now if I want to go back in here I can just highlight this and I can actually change the size of the uh, text. Go about right here with it. Um, say you want to move it, you can drag anything that you draw on the screen. You can move it around to say I accidentally put it here and click on that and drag it back over where I really want it to be. Um, there's a couple different ways you can save your uh, stuff and I'll get into that in just a second. Um, I want to go back up here. Now we want to take a cam shot instead. So it's going to be using my external eyesight that I have over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and snap a shot of that. Oh, I didn't click it. But... Wrong button again. Okay, you want to click the snap. It's going to count down. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, Say I want to draw, okay, get, go to the draw tool, and I can actually, uh, you can highlight the picture, and it's transparent. My mouse is kind of crazy, so I can't really do it all that well. But you can tell right here, you can see through it, and you can do this in gray too. You can see through those. All right. Now, you want to go down here, and there's a lot of different ways that you can export this or save this or whatever. Um, Get down here and you can type, you know, a file name. Uh, you can change the file type. There's several different ones. Uh, the JPG you can actually change the quality of. Uh, by default, it's high quality. I put mine at maximum. Um, you can see, like I said, there's a lot of this picture that doesn't really show anything. You can go up here and do that, and then you can resize it and make it bigger. Um, you can go in, there's two different ways you can do this. You can do Skitch, which you uh, sign up for an account before you download this. And it'll uh, upload it to your Skitch account, or you can set it to MobileMe. And then it's uploading right now. And right here, if you do it in MobileMe, you click this and it actually copies the link. Um, let me open this real quick. Um... And it'll actually copy the link to that image. Uh, or if you do it on, if you upload it in Sketch, I think it does it uh, 
different way. I'm not really sure. It's going to upload it again. Um, Sketch, I don't know if it's just today or whatever, but it seems to upload pretty slow. Um, you can drag this over to your desktop. You can see you can save it. Uh, view it. Um, you can uh, <coughs> drag this over to your mail. It'll put it in a new mail uh, that you can send. Um, let's get into the options real quick. Um, you've got about sketch. Uh, you can provide feedback. You can check for updates. You go into your preferences. And this is basically just your menus and stuff right over here. So I'll show you those in a second. Um, your preferences, you can change what color you want the actual window to be on the application. Um, you can launch it when you log into OS X. Uh, you can show it in the menu bar and the dock or just the, uh, which I usually do just the uh, menu bar. Um, then you've got a couple different uh, things down here that you can select. Um, there's uh, keyboard shortcuts to uh, take your screenshots, stuff like that. Um, there's different settings you can do for your drawing. Um, you've got your web post, and this is where you add your accounts that you want to upload to. You've got your history of all your different images you've taken. Uh, your photos, which you can do iPhoto and Aperture and your mobile me uh, galleries. Uh, you can go and send them feedback. You can do it anon anonymously or through your uh, account. Okay, um, I'm going to quickly go up in here into the menu bar and show you all the options there real quick too. Um, you've got about sketch. You can do the feedback, uh, check for updates, and you got your preferences. Um, you can web post this, you can mail this, which this will also bring up a new image um, if you don't have it or if you don't want to click on here and drag to your mail in the dock. Um, you've got your basic edit menu, capture, this is different ways you can capture. You can add, uh, you can rotate it, you can flip it, you can add shadows, which this will basically make it a little bit larger and then make the background transparent and then when you uh, open it it's got a little bit of a shadow behind it um, you can uh, crop snap at current edges you can wipe only the snap which will actually leave anything that you've drawn on the screen like um, anything you've drawn will actually stay on there and it will just delete the uh, picture instead you can undo or you can just wipe all of this out and start over. Um, but it's a cool little application to play around with. Um, like I said, you can use it to take screenshots. You can use it to like edit your photo uh, photos. Um, there's a lot of little things you can do with it. It's it's not it's not really something I would say you would need, but it's definitely something fun to play around with. You know, if you're just looking for applications to mess around with images and stuff, and um, it's pretty fun. So. Uh, I would recommend it to anybody that wants to try a new way to take screenshots or just you want to play around with photos and uh, you know that kind of stuff but uh, I'll provide a uh, link to it in the description and uh, I guess that's about it so uh, keep checking back and I will keep doing more videos for you guys uh, request videos that you want to see done uh, products you want reviewed anything like that um, and I will try to get those out as soon as possible. Usually I'll be able to do them within a couple of days. So, uh, yeah, just keep checking back. Thanks.